So I've gone ahead and fit my new seat switches from Mercedes Mo in Texas. And now that I'm sufficiently drunk on my last day of holidays, because God, I hate my job, I thought it was a good idea to start up red and maybe drive it around in the backyard. See that my uh, printed uh, security lead is uh, blinking there, so I have to deactivate the immobilizer on the car, which will enable me to start it. I am going to replace this immobilizer because it is uh, more than 20 years old, and the remote is uh, extremely worn and old, and I don't believe you can get new ones anymore. Um, I've actually already replaced the micro switch not micro switch, tactile switch in there um, because the original was completely screwed. So there we go. Let's give it a start. Beautiful. And I like to exercise the air conditioner. Although it's pretty bloody cold today, I don't think it's going to do anything. Although it, it is freezing cold air coming out of there, so it is actually operating. Now, 20 degrees, that's cold to me. I feel cold at anything below 22. Yes, I am a snowflake, but I have basically no body fat, so I do feel the cold. Good that the aircon still works anyway. So I will let that warm up and uh, reverse it out of the shed. So these rubber caps on the brake fluid reservoir actually serve a safety purpose. They enable you to test the functionality of the brake fluid low warning system. So when you push down on them, it actually pushes the floats inside down and that will illuminate the warning light on the instrument cluster. So that's a good periodic test to do and you do it to both of those to make sure they're both operating. Now one thing that's interesting in this car, um, I didn't see any mechanical damage but one of the bearings is kind of noisy in the transmission. It's only in use in the park and neutral positions. You can hear it now. Put it in reverse, noise is gone. Same in drive, noise is gone. At neutral, you can hear it. I seem to recall reading that uh, MB didn't actually care about that noise, and if the customer complained about it, the answer was uh, basically tough shit, that's how it is. Uh, it might explain why I never actually saw anything wrong in there, but it is definitely louder on this transmission than my blue-black one. But then again, it could just be because I don't have the wooden surround on here that I'm hearing it more. 
In any case, I'm not overly concerned about it because, yeah, it's only apparent in park and neutral and you really shouldn't be revving the engine in those uh, positions anyway.